Hey everybody, this is Saul Castaneda and with MCSE Green Wheels and I'm here at home. Continuing the Fox Body platform and for most of the people that probably didn't see the other two videos or our other videos, we are continuing a little bit of history on the Fox Body platform and other cars that were built on. Mind you guys, keep your pants on because uh, I may not get them all. Today's video is going to be based on the be on the seventh generation Lincoln Continental. We're going to check out the 1982 to 1987 Lincoln Continental, which, as we all know, was built on the Fox Body platform. Lincoln Continental, the seventh generation, built on the Fox Body platform, was manufactured by Lincoln in the USA. It was categorized as a mid-sized luxury executive car which means that only classy people drove it, much like myself, which is, happens to be my favorite car, because that's how I got turned to hating all these cars, I guess. No, I don't hate them. I love them. It came with four doors. It was a big body sedan, as far as we thought. But as we give you the history, maybe not so much. It ran from 82 to 87. It was a rear-wheel drive vehicle. For instance, in the 82, it came with a four-speed gearbox. It was a gas engine. It had a 3.8 V6. It had 112 horsepower. It had 175 foot-pounds of torque. It had an outside length of 201.2 inches with a width of 73.6 inches. It had a wheelbase of 108.7 and one of the most things that in the Fox Body community that we find to be interesting is the weight which in this instant the base curve weight of this vehicle was 3,384 pounds it's kind of heavy for a car that you want to race or do up it would do 0 to 60 in 14.4 seconds and had an MPG of 22 miles for the Lincoln Continental that came with the 5.0 V8 had a four-speed automatic transmission gave out 131 horsepower, 229 foot-pounds of torque, and it would do 0 to 60 in 12 seconds. Its MPGs were only 20 miles per, but the big significant difference was the curb weight, which changed into a 3,512-pound vehicle. The V8 initially adds 128 pounds to the whole car, which as we know, in the industry of racing and keeping cars light and nimble, more weight is a no-no. In 1983, Lincoln Continental introduced the Gavinci, a designer series, and that came with 130 horsepower, and it dropped one horsepower than the previous year. But the torque was all beefed up, and it went from 229 foot-pounds of torque to 240. In the same year, in 83, the Lincoln Continental came out with the Valentino design, or the Valentino edition. Valentino is an Italian fashion designer that founded the Valentino brand and company. Valentino Lincoln Continental had the same horsepower and torque gas mileage as the Givenchy. As you guys know, for these mid-size big body cars, they did not have front bench seats. They had individual seats in front, both motorized. 1984, still a four-door sedan and a rear-wheel drive vehicle. It had four-wheel disc brakes all the way around. Tire sizes of 205-75 R15. From 84 to 87, which is considered the seventh generation of Lincoln Continental, was the first time a two-door option wasn't available for Lincoln since 1965. In 1984, there was a Continental that was turbo diesel. Believe it or not, guys, I seen it. And one of the problems was it just stunk. Too much diesel. It had a horsepower of 115. It had 155 foot-pounds of torque. The weight continued to go up. And of course, you know, diesel is always a little, seems to be always heavier. This car was no exception with 3,706 pounds. That is an extra 194 pounds since the 1983 Continental. The turbo diesel gave us 30 miles for the gallon and a whopping 
14.8 seconds on a 0 to 60. In 1987, the four square headlights were still a big style of Continental. The body with the big four doors really didn't change throughout the years. The rear wheel drive had a four speed gearbox at 150 horsepower with 270 foot pounds of torque. With the curb weight, again, still going up, 3,798 pounds. But the zero to 60 mark changed to 10.9 seconds and it gave us 21 miles of MPG. In conclusion, the 1983 to 87 seventh generation Continental could maybe be an alternative to build yourself that long lost Fox body. You know, the one that got away or that barnyard find that represented the barnyard find. Even though it's a big body car, remember the aftermarket is technically out there. So although it may be a Lincoln Continental on the outside, doesn't mean you can't kick someone's ass like a Mustang. Guys, I wanna thank everybody on our Instagram page, on our Facebook page, and more importantly, here on our YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more Fox Body News. Have a good night, guys.